Hello everyone, Jackie Tomlin here and welcome to another episode of When Spirit Speaks podcast. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, let me just start by giving you my contact information. I love hearing from you guys. Um, website, JackieTomlin.com. You will find a menu of options over there in regards to psychic readings. Uh, also, if you want free readings, look for me on YouTube. It is youtube.com backslash psychic jackie uh phone number 804-731-2302 and yes i am available via text messaging okay guys uh tonight we are under that super moon the blue moon energy hitting tonight i think at 9 30 p.m eastern where i am located uh but nonetheless definitely a super blue moon and remember we are still under mercury retro now what does this mean okay a, a super moon or the blue moon simply means that there's two full moons in one month okay so you know that saying once every blue moon doesn't happen that that often okay uh it is under retro the retro is the time frame is mercury retro of the clearing it is the time frame of the unexpected good bad and indifferent between now and september 15th and honestly it takes a couple of days after the 15th to kind of clear the ick of it all together okay um what can you do i'm telling you right now this is about a clearing and i think tonight tomorrow let's go let's go the next 72 hours be a great time for cleansing of crystals for smudging for doing any type of meditation uh energy work uh fasting and i'm not talking about just food just fasting from something that could be from social media it could be uh, just something that you're gonna live alone for like 72 hours or whatever it's a great time for that clearing okay now something else i want to talk to you about today i'll share with you a funny story i did get a call from one of my youtubers over the weekend um who thought he was going to do a reading with me and then changed his mind because i refused to ask him for his date of birth okay let's talk about it <laughs> okay uh first of all you need to know the difference in a psychic and a tarot card reader okay i uh read tarot cards online often because it gives you a visual and I think it's something fun to do. I think most people enjoy it tremendously. When you contact me for a reading, it is a genuine reading uh, with spirit. And no, I do not use cards unless you request it. Okay. Uh, now, let me tell you what I'm honing in on with this date of birth. If you're seeking a genuine and authentic reading with spirit, do not give any psychic your date of birth point blank simple not the month not the year not the date nothing because when you do they can hone in on the traits of your zodiac sign and they're going to hit something that resonates i promise you so if you're seeking a true reading let's leave out your date of birth okay so i've got that message for you as well all right, so we're going to hone in on spirit and we're going to take a look at, by the zodiac sign, those messages by spirit. Um, you'll also find this is under breaking news but, uh, from spirit on the channel's playlist on my YouTube channel. All right, gang, so let's get into this and let's let's cover the next 72 hours on this one, okay? So what spirit has for my Aries, what's coming up for my Aries? What do we have going on? What do you need to know? All right, it's getting things done. You've been procrastinating. It's time to get things done. It's time to make decisions that you've been putting off for too long. Um, an Aquarius may or may not resonate with you. There's a lot of positive thinking. Uh, everything you want's within reach. What you've been manifesting since spring is now time to come to fruition. Um, I don't know if that's for the next 72, but that's what I'm asking for. New doors are opening. Be warned of your temper. There is a time, this is a time frame of a new beginning. You remember, you cannot have a new beginning without an ending. And something to do with this ending has something to do with your temper. So I want to throw that out there to you. Um, also, delays are in your favor. Now, I know it's frustrating when I tell you this, but let me give you an example. If I tell you delays are in your favor and it took two or three minutes because your car stalled out, how do you know you weren't going to be in an accident in that two or three minutes? 
Okay. That's what I'm talking about when I say in your favor. All right. Let's take a look at my Taurus. What do we have going on for my Taurus? Taurus, same thing right off the bat. Delays are in your favor. Uh, Taurus of Pisces may or may not resonate with you. There's some type of music. You're tapping into the lyrics. You're listening to music. Perhaps you're a musician or attending a live music event. Uh, Pisces energy is here. Uh, new doors are opening for you. You need to stop beating yourself up over something in, in your past. There's a lot of intensity and love and relationships for my Taurus, you know, rolling out the rest of summer. Remember, guys, here in the States, we are summer up until September 22nd. You also need to make some decisions. Be warned of your temper. Uh, and there's going to be a small wish that was granted, but you're really being hard on yourself about a past decision. Also, there's a warning. Don't get stuck in your head. You're pretty much an overthinker. And when you get stuck in your head and start overthinking and overanalyzing, you take your energy from a high level to a really low in a very quick amount of time. Okay. So moving on to my gems. What do we have for Gemini? Gemini, I see some travel coming up for y'all right off the bat. Quick trip little jaunt getting out it's rest before further development and there's a caution here to slow down that's in your vehicle at home as well as at work just slow down you also need you tell someone no and i'm thinking it's like a neighbor or a friend you can tell someone no with no explanation okay if you don't want to go say no if you don't want to be involved in it just say no it's okay to say no you're under an era of good luck and abundance there. Also, there is the same thing that closing a one door, the opening up a new door. It's going to be emotional. So emote. let it happen. Let it happen. Everything you want is within reach. There's a strong intensity in love, whether you are single or a couple. Remain positive. There's new money coming in. I'm going to say within the next two weeks, it's going to be a strong new beginning in the money sector. Okay, so that's what I've got going on for my Gemini. So definitely the clearing. Um, I can see y'all smudging. I can see y'all doing that energy work and it's going to be really good. All right. Up next, we have Cancer. Cancer, what we got going on for you with this super blue moon energy? All right, Cancer. Some of you are getting ready to travel, trip out of state, being tired of being used by someone. You're taking back your power. Uh, for some of you, a Virgo may or may not resonate. We have a new beginning. Uh, it's time to stop beating yourself up. There's a celebration in hand. I'm thinking this is either going to be a birthday celebration, anniversary, something like that. Some new opportunities are being presented. It is a time frame of getting what you want. Um, also, there is a Sagittarius energy here. Time for you to make some decisions. It is about getting what you want, but there is also a quick glimpse of your anger or your temper. This is with someone close to you. It could be a family member, okay? Um, so I want to throw that out there, but it is an era of new beginnings, new opportunities, taking back your power and getting exactly what you want. You are really doing things differently here, okay? Uh, and you need to get ready for a fast pace. Some of you are moving. Some of you are changing residence. Uh, very fast pace. High frustrations. You're really going to have to dig for your patience because everything is going down. And from what I can tell, cancer, it's going down all at one time. Okay? So that's what I've got going on for you. Digging for your patience because you do get what you want. Up next, we have my Leo's. Leah, what does a super blue moon have for you? All right, Leo. You know, you're the same way as my gems. You need to just say no. If there's something you don't want to do, just tell somebody no. No explanation. You just no, I don't want to do it. 
there's a little bit of a motivation problem with you. You're running highs and lows there when it comes to your motivation. Also, a Taurus and or a Cancer may resonate with you guys, okay? Um, if you are separated but from someone or something in the next couple of weeks, it's just a temporary situation. You are taking back your powers. There's could be some secrets that will be revealed. And I think this is within your family, okay? Some family secrets are coming out. Uh, expect some good luck and abundance and someone close to you may need to be uplifted in regards to self-esteem or something going on there. Uh, you yourself don't get stuck in your head over thinking things because you bring your energy down when you do that. You are in the land of opportunity. Uh, take advantage of it. And some of you uh, could be musicians or getting lost in some music. Um, you're just in a good spot. You're in a good frame of mind and just a good place to be. If that makes sense. That's what I have for my Leos. All righty. Happy birthday, Virgos. Virgos, what do we have coming up for you? This is uh, your what we have going on for you and the blue moon. Blue moon energy for Virgos. And it's your birthday month, birthday time. All right, what do we got going on here? Virgo. Lot of scattered energy around you. Retro is hitting you hard. You're all kinds of bajiggity. You are anxious, overwhelmed, and excited all at one time. It's going to require you to dig for your patience at home as well as at work. Okay. You're getting what you want. You're getting what you asked for, but it's coming in a form you weren't expecting. You're moving forward. You're leaving an emotional upset behind. Get out your head. When you overthink things, you bring yourself down. You're in for a new emotional path. And like I said, it's going to be about digging for your patience. You're losing patience with a lot of things, personal, professional, all of it. The help that you need is on the way. And believe it or not, you're on the right path. <laughs> it may feel a little bit crazy with the scattered energy, but everything says you're on the right path. There's been a lesson well learned. And what at first appeared to be a disappointment actually turns out to be a blessing in disguise. Okay. Remain positive. This is also that retro connecting with people from the past, people from the past coming out the woodwork. Um there's a celebration upcoming, time to make decisions. We have intensity in a relationship, trips upcoming, a quick trip. Could be with a Capricorn or Sagittarius, and there's going to be a good business deal, okay? Right now, I think the biggest thing for my Virgos, you need to relax. You need to breathe. You need to know you're on the right path because your frustrations are running really deep from what I can tell. All right, up next we have Libra. Blue moon energy on Libra. Libra. Mm, you're manifesting, I like it. You know, act as if you have what you want and it will be, I like it. Good attitude, your uh, intensity and love, a high drive for success. Man, Libra, you are just kicking butt and getting it done. Good business deal. New money coming in. A celebration. Ooh, reuniting with someone from the past. You also have a Sagittarius Capricorn energy surrounding you. And possibly an Aquarius may resonate. There's going to be a trip out of state. There are new doors opening for you. Um, there is some kind of good business deal. Strong business deal. This could be a new job. A promotion, something like that is going down for you. This is going down in the fall. Uh, here in the States, fall begins um, September 22nd. Fair and worries are leaving. It's also reminding you to take some downtime. Just take some time out for yourself. But you are on a fast track in all areas. And I can really say you guys have really done the journey inward. Because that journey inward is paying off for you in a very, very strong way. Okay, all going on. Next up, we have Scorpio, your blue moon energy for Scorpio. It's 
Scorpio. Oh, wow. Retro hitting you with the people from the past. Lots of them, more than one, probably more than three from what I can tell. Okay, so you're reuniting and reconnecting with people from your past. You know, this is actually bringing forth good luck and abundance. And one of these people you may be connecting with in a romantic level. There is some intensity in your love life and getting what you want. There's also the signing of a legal document. Some of my Scorpios, this is a large lease and or purchase that is coming to you. Okay. Uh, you're moving forward. And my biggest thing is you need to stop procrastinating. You have a list of things to get done and you're not doing anything. Now's the time to apply that action. Time to make decisions. Time to do stuff that you've been putting off in general. Okay. Dig for your patience when it comes to family and friends. Uh, new money's coming in. There is endings, new beginning, an emotional path. You know, and I'll tell you the same thing I tell everyone. You cannot have a new beginning without an ending. And that's exactly what I see here for you guys. But ultimately, you are getting what you want. Okay. But my biggest thing is your reconnections from your past are very strong and very significant for you. All right. Sagittarius, my fellow Sagittarius. Okay. Uh, we're working with your blue moon energy and what we need to know there. For Sagittarius. High drive for success. You guys have got like a checklist of things to do and you are checking it off. You are actually getting things done. You are getting things under control. Okay. Um, you can expect the signing of a legal document coming up. Um, for some of you, this is a large lease and or a purchase. I do want to throw out the unexpected when this comes into play. Um, move forward and stop procrastinating because like I said, this to-do list, you're really getting things done. You're highly motivated. Fear and worries are leaving. Something is coming in to relieve some kind of worry uh, that you've got coming in. For some of you, it might be some financial stress, so maybe some new money coming in. There is a celebration and our outing get-together coming up that leads to total victory. Uh, someone close to you, someone that you already know is coming in to open up to you. Could be another fire sign of Aries Leo or Sagittarius. If you are separated from someone or something, it is only temporary. There's new doors opening up. And the new beginning is going to stroke a lot of emotions in you guys, okay? A uh, new emotional path. It's going to be a small wish granted. This new emotional path has to do with a Pisces and or a Virgo. And it's asking you to rest before further development. And don't get caught up in overthinking because you will bring your energy down when you do so. Um, also, I'm going to say within next week or so, you're going to be surrounded by a lot of people. All righty. Up next, we have Capricorn. Capricorn. Delays are in your favor. What can I say? Like I said, could be preventing an accident definitely to your favor. Um, you've got a lot of scattered energies showing me retros hitting you kind of hard as well. Uh, a lot of scattered energy, a lot of indecisiveness. Slow down, breathe, relax. Things will fall into place for you. You're under a powerful new beginning with new emotions. And it need, spirit needs you to know you're on the right path. Okay. So I'm thinking that some of you are under a redirection, a total redirection, maybe a little bit emotional, fear and worries are leaving, secrets are being revealed, uh, you're under a new beginning now, but the, your next new beginning comes in winter, okay, you're definitely on the right path, signs that may resonate with you are going to be a Pisces, an Aries, or a Virgo, there will be a small wish granted, expect some major changes, okay, Everything you want is within reach. And you got to take your power back. Okay. And you're kind of in what I would call the, the calm before the storm. Get the rest that you need while you can, because you're setting yourself up for a very fast pace. All right. 
Let's see. Blue moon energy for the Aquarius. What do we have coming up for the Aquarius? Blue moon energy. Uh, endings, closures, reverse, new beginnings. One door closes, one door opens. Can't have that new beginning without the ending. Does show you're on the right path. You're not going to feel like it, but you are absolutely on the right path. This is about taking back your power. It's about everything you want is within reach. Aquarius, manifest, manifest, manifest. Act as if you already have what you want and it will be. You're beating yourself up over a past decision. Let that energy go. Yesterday was the past. Tomorrow is the new beginning. Okay. Um, there's some kind of clarity or confirmation coming in. For you something you had suspected and it has to do with reconnection with someone from your past uh maybe they bring in what you had suspected all along the help that you need is on the way and it's actually coming from someone close to you or someone in that inner circle is coming in to help you uh there's a celebration coming up get ready for a fast pace and some major changes um, I want to say this to my queries. Don't get stuck on plans. Plans are subject to change. You are under that retro of the unexpected. And it just shows don't get stuck on plans. Okay. Last but not least, we have Pisces. All right, Pisces, what does the blue moon energy have for you? Blue Pisces, you also get what you want. You're also being hit hard by this retro energy, that scattered energy, that bajiggity feeling. Cat on a hot tin roof. That's how I describe you guys, okay? You're also getting the clarity and confirmation you're seeking. And it is to do with reuniting with people from your past. Notice I said people, not a person. Several from your past are coming into play. New doors are opening and a small wish will be granted. A Sagittarius may or may not resonate with you. Um, be warned of being used by someone. Okay, remain positive. There's also the signing of a legal document and or a contract that's going to put a new spin on things and really put you on the right path. Rest before further development. So this is generally talking about the calm before the storm. There's been a lesson well learned. Expect a good business deal. Uh, upcoming for you, there's intensity and love is in the air. A high drive for success, a new beginning, new opportunities and good news arrives. This is all about closing out the old and all about embracing the new. This is what I've got going on for Pisces. And I think my biggest message to you too is to know that you're on the right path. You're doing what you are led to do. Um, and yeah, spirit is leading the way. So you're definitely on the right path. All right, guys, we got a little time left here. We're going to do the collective. The collective is for my listeners now and those that are li listening later on, but it's for all of you. And we're looking at the blue moon energy of what spirit has for all of us. Let's say that in the next 72, next 72 hours. Okay, it's asking you to slow down. There's new money coming in. Uh, Gemini may resonate with you. This is the calm before the storm. Get the rest that you can while you can because you're getting into a fast pace. Get ready for a fast pace. There's a good business deal. Um, Y'all are really going to pick up in business or at work. It's going to be crazy busy. You will get what you want. Okay, someone close to you is going to make sure that happens. There's also a celebration and or a get together. I'm thinking like a party type atmosphere is what I'm saying. The next 72, <clears throat> stop beating yourself up. Secrets being revealed. Communication is open. Someone is coming in to talk to you. I uh, expect sudden changes. You'll get what you want. It's coming in a form you're not expecting. A disappointment will turn into be a blessing in disguise. You are reconnecting with someone from your past. 
um, a live music venue or the message in lyrics are present. Total victory, intensity, and love. And I really, really want to stress the word intense. All right, gang. That's what I have for you guys. Again, JackieTomlin.com. If you're seeking personal readings, there is a wide uh, menu over there for you to choose from. Uh, thank you for joining me for another great episode. And I will see you guys next week when Spirit Speaks podcast. Bye.